Hello everybody, it's Things Blush, and I'm back with another video. It's been a few weeks since my last one, um, but I've uh, just got a this quick update with uh, my recent purchases. This is just uh, my last two weeks um, since the beginning of December. I think the last video I did was December 1st. Uh, so this is the last two weeks of uh, purchases. Um, not as many as usual, so this will be quite a short video. Um, but I'm sort of winding down with Christmas coming up, and uh, I've stopped using Amazon do a dispute I have with them uh, so they can piss off um, just on principle so at the moment uh, yeah I haven't had a lot come through the last few weeks but um, and this is probably going to be the norm to be honest I was spending a bit too much and sort of come back now so yeah trying to make a, a new year's resolution to not spend as much and try and save some so the first two things I'm actually going to show um, is something I forgot to show last time these are two laser discs that I purchased from eBay. Uh, they're about three pound each. Uh, Empire Strikes Back and Star Wars. I basically purchased them because I like the artwork. I don't have a laser disc. I've never owned laser discs before, um, and I'll never own a laser disc. So these are just going to remain sealed. Um, and uh, yeah, just I might try and frame them or something. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. But uh, I just like the look of them really, really, and they were cheap. Um, I'd like to try and get the third one as well, but we'll see if I can get Jedi or not. Okay, so on to uh, today's haul. Um, so I'm going to start with DVDs, I think. Uh, the first one I've got is an HMV exclusive of The Simpsons. This is season 15, and uh, this is the uh, you know pop-up head version uh, with Otto. Um, this is only available from HMV. It was the same price, I think, as the regular version. I uh, kept it sealed, though, because I'm just going to get the regular version later on. As I always do, I always get both. And I'll just... Um, use that one so I want to keep this nice and pristine so uh, yeah that's the first one there um, next up we have a, a wrestling DVD of TNA Sacrifice uh, 2012 um, which is looks like it's not going to get released in the UK at least not before March so I'll uh, pick that up on eBay um, and then these nine uh, DVDs I purchased from CEX actually came in a box set but the box set was in pretty bad shape so I've sort of put it in, this, in the corner out the way and just put these on the shelf. It's basically just He Man, uh, the Masters of the Universe, Season 1, uh, all nine volumes. Um, it's over here. These are some really nice artwork on these. I used to have these years ago when they first got released. I think it was like 2004, 2005. Um, and I had the first three, and then they brought out Volume 4 to 6, and then 7 to 9, and I had all, in, in all the individual box sets. And then uh, I sold them and got the season box set, complete season box set. Um, but uh, sold it, I bought it and sold it a few times. I like that cover, it's a cool cover. Um, and then eventually I just thought, oh, I'll get it back again. And then I realised it was out of print. So, um, because it used to sell for about 17, 18 pounds, now people want 50, 60 quid on eBay for it. Um, for the complete uh, nine DVDs uh, in the box set. This uh, ninth volume is actually a double volume, has uh, double the episodes on it to round out the series. Um, but I picked it up off CX for 25 quid. It was the only one on the website and it got uh, delivered within a couple of days. So I was really happy with that because um, it's half the price, at least, of anywhere else. So uh, now we're going to get on to uh, Blu rays and Steelbooks, um, regular Blu rays and Steelbooks. And I think there's one game as well. Um, so yeah, I'll start with Steelbooks. Um, do this pile first. Sorry, it's uh, Sunday morning nine o'clock and they've been up pretty much all the night because I wasn't able to sleep and I thought oh, I'll do this in the morning uh, there's a bit of light um, so the first one is uh, I Am Legend it's from the premium collection um, this was bought from Amazon before I told them where to go um, this I think it was 9.50 in one of their uh, lightning deals uh, the same as the Matrix which I've kept sealed because I already have the film um, as part of the Matrix trilogy still book and also uh, a digibox, so there's not much point in opening this one up. Uh, here's one I actually just got today, it's Cloverfield. Um, this is the Play exclusive, actually out on Monday. Um, slightly different this to the DVD version. Um, the writing here is a little bit clearer than the DVD. Um, the uh, indents here, this debossing, is actually embossed on the DVD. And this lock here isn't embossed or debossed. That was uh, at least that bit was embossed on the DVD, and this writing is flat. 
but that was also embossed on the DVD um, on the back uh, this is the same embossed and this here again is debossed where it was embossed on the DVD so um, to be honest I think the DVD version is slightly nicer but uh, yeah still pretty cool one of the better uh, Blu-ray steelbooks about at the moment um, but it is a bit uh, flimsy with it being uh, very debossed on both sides uh, these are the other three that I got today uh, well so today, yesterday now um, Mission Impossible uh, 3, 2 and 1 I it's in the right order don't I? yeah Mission Impossible 3, 2 and 1 um, all really nice uh, steel box got nice uh, embossing on the front and also uh, a nice matching uh, with Mission Impossible 4 uh, border as well so uh, they're really cool steel books I think they're about £11 each uh, Cloverfield is 10 I think or at least 10 for me because I used some points up uh, play points super points whatever they are uh, next one is All Boy this is a, not a bad steel book but it's not uh, it's not up to the uh, same level as Battle Royale which was released the week before but I do like the the effect on the writing ok uh, the next one we have is the Shawshank Redemption this is an ITV steel book um, this is really heavy uh, heavy duty steel because uh, it's four discs, one Blu-ray, three DVDs um, everything you could possibly want is in this box set, I think there's also some art cards as well um, and we also have another one from the ITV with Glen Gary Glen Ross um, I think this one finished off my uh, ITV with because I still needed that one to finish it off uh, a few more steel books here we have the play exclusive for Goldeneye really nice uh, debossed Goldeneye there uh, that one was I think uh, 10, no 11.99 uh, and then we have the Born Legacy, got this from Sainsbury's because uh, it was the cheapest price around um, nice steelbook matches the uh, Born Trilogy and then we have a few more play steelbooks exclusives uh, Zombieland, uh, these are Sony steelbooks, uh, Black Hawk Down and Bad Boys, these were 10.99 each um, got a slight paint issue on the back of Bad Boys which is why I kept the J car on but uh, yeah, really cool uh, steel books, really cool films as well um, and nice and cheap and then we have the Expendables which I got for £12 um, from HMV because I used a £5 cord um, so it came off this steel book so that was cool that was actually delivered a few days later which is why it wasn't in the last video um, and then we have Zombie Flesh Eaters I got this one from Amazon with a voucher uh, so it was only £9 really nice heavy duty steel book um, booklet, poster uh, Blu-rays and DVDs, the lot, it's a really cool release from uh, Arrow, one of the better steelbook releases and here is the uh, rare, I don't know if it's still in print, uh, 500 uh, edition, only 500 of these exist the uh, Zombie Flesh Eaters uh, Slipbox edition, uh, bought directly from Amazon, uh, not from Amazon, from Arrow video, you can only buy it from them, I think it was £18, so it was twice as much as the steelbook but uh, yeah, hopefully this will be worth something in the future. As you can see there, it says limited edition, limited edition to 500 units. Um, but uh, it would be nice if it had a number on it, but it doesn't. Uh, okay, so we're into the regular Blu-rays now. We're nearly finished uh, this video. Um, we have the Jaws Digibook. Um, I didn't get this last time when I bought a bunch of other Digibooks because it was like 20 odd pound on on Amazon. But Play.com had it for like 10.99, so that was a good deal. Um, I've kept it sealed though because I've got the steel book at the moment but uh, I will uh, unseal this at some point to check out the book uh, here's another one I just got the other day this is bought from Amazon.com uh, Madagascar 3 because uh, it's not over here until I think February uh, this is the 3D, 2D Blu-ray edition plus DVD, digital copy uh, Region 3 or the DVD will be Region 1 but I'll never use it um, and I just got this I think on Saturday as well it was in 10 quid with a voucher so it was a bargain um, so it'll be a long time before it gets to that price here, especially for 3D. Uh, last couple now, we have Sherlock Series 2. I've been after this for a while. This was another Amazon purchase. Uh, this took forever to come. Nearly, nearly 10 days. Um, it was £6 with a voucher. So, uh, yeah, I've been, been trying to get this for a while. It's never cheap. Never cheap. I mean, still even now you won't get it for less than 8, 9 quid. Um, and the last one for this video is the only game I've got in the last two weeks. Uh, Ratchet & Clank Trilogy. Uh, this was from Amazon, £24.99 um, which I think was the cheapest price around uh, these things never go cheap Ratchet and Clank games um, and these trilogies, Sly, the Sly trilogy and the Ratchet and Clank trilogy they sort of keep the value 
Um, these are really cool games. I love these when I was younger, so I'm looking forward to uh, checking these out again and uh, playing them again. So uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks again for watching. I'll be back after Christmas with another video, although to be honest I don't expect there to be uh, very much to show on it, but there'll be a few bits and bobs. Uh, probably half what's in this video, maybe even less. So uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you all again soon and have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Take care.